This is Formula SAE FastCast, the official podcast of the Formula SAE series. Hey guys, welcome to FastCast, the Formula SAE podcast. I'm Mike Sawyer, the podcast and video producer here with the SAE CDS series. And we got something very special. Today we're going to talk about the Infinity Engineering Academy, a great program uh, happening. And uh, we have one of the winners, Saber Cook, with us today. How you doing, Saber? I'm good. How are you? Saber is joining us, of course, from the UK, and uh, we're going to get a little bit into her experiences with the uh, uh, Engineering Academy and everything going into it as well. Uh, first of all, Saber, um, as we can notice by your accent, you're maybe not from the UK. Where are you from originally? Uh, d- definitely not from the UK. I'm from uh, Colorado originally. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, where did you study at university? Uh, I studied at Colorado School of Mines in uh, Golden, Colorado. Awesome. Uh, when you were there at the uh, university, uh, did you uh, compete in the Formula SAE program? Yeah, I did. I did for for a couple of years. Tell me a little bit about your experience with the uh, Formula SAE. Talk to me a little bit about what it did to prepare you for your position now with engineering. Um, FSAE was, you know, it, our team was unfortunately quite a young team. And so we didn't have um, a lot of kind of guidance from or a lot of date hard data from you know years of previous teams so sometimes we were kind of um (laughs) um, shooting in the dark in some ways i would say Mm -hmm. but it it just kind of taught you the importance of communication teamwork um you know making sure you stick to a timetable and time schedule to really make sure you hit your deliverables like within a reasonable time so that way you have enough time to you know get the car assembled and have proper time for testing because you know, you don't want to just get to competition and, and kind of be doing your testing there. So um, I think it's all about like time management. And that was definitely one of the harder things, obviously, going to school and trying to be in this club and with racing and everything. So um, but that's kind of what it what it taught me is just the importance of working well within your team and knowing like what their strengths and weaknesses are. So let's get in a little bit about the uh, Engineering Academy. Uh, what is the Infinity Engineering Academy? So the Infinity Engineering Academy is basically this um, worldwide search for young engineers to give them the opportunity to get in, you know, with one of the big automotive manufacturers and and start and get a chance to be an F1. So it basically what happens is you can apply online. And then depending on if you make it through through the first elimination, you'll get an interview, you go through um, certain then you get taken down to like a national finals um, for your region. So there's seven global regions, U.S., Canada, Mexico, Asia, Oceania, China, Middle East, and Europe. And, and so once you make it to your final, there's 10 of you and you go through a series of challenges um, over a course of a couple of days. And mine was uh, really cool because I got the second day we actually got to do our challenge within the F1 paddock, like right in front of the formula. Um, right in front of the F1 teams and in the Renault garage. So that was a super cool experience. Um, and then once you are selected, you, they choose one winner from each of the seven regions. So then what you do is half of you go to um, Infinity Technical Center for six months, and then the other half go to Renault F1 for six months, and then you switch in the middle of the year. Excellent. So so why wouldn't you apply for this uh, this uh competition so i i applied because it you know it was an amazing opportunity kind of like it's really hard to just get straight into f1 as an engineer Mm -hmm. and um, it was a good you know opportunity to come live abroad and and get the experience and make the connections Uh, so that's kind of obviously why i applied is just because it was a it's an, an amazing opportunity how does the infinity engineering academy final work so once you make it to your respective regions final, there's 10 of you that get selected. And the first day um, you do um, an engineering exam, you do some team challenges, um, you have uh, like a technical challenge, um, some interviews. And then based on that, three of you get selected to go to the second day. And if you're if your final is paired with uh, an F1 GP weekend, the second day you go to the um, whatever track that the that the race is at, and you actually do your final technical challenge in the Renault F1 um, garage, uh, right on pit lane and everything. So it's it's quite quite the experience, and um, 
everyone's kind of watching you and, and um, it's it's definitely like a bit unnerving at first but it's uh, it was a really cool um, experience to be to be in and to see everything and see the F1 paddock and how it all operates for the first time up close so um, after yeah after the technical challenge you have uh, you get grilled by the media a bit and then they they pick one winner at the end of it that's awesome. It's a heck of an experience, it sounds like. Uh, what did it mean to you to, to win that 2018 U.S. final? Uh, it was, I mean, it was life-changing for me. I, you know, I moved to a new country. I'm, you know, over here making new connections, like kind of going in a direction, a, a, a very positive direction in my life that, you know, I didn't expect to be able to, to be at this point. You know, this time last year, I would have had, you know, no, no clue that, that I would be here today. So um, it was um, very... I felt very blessed to, to win the opportunity, but it was very kind of surreal. It took a bit for it to like kind of sink in that, okay, I, I am going to go do this. Uh, what is it about automotive and motorsport projects that ignite your engineering passion? I understand you have a little background behind the wheel. Is that correct? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, the, so the reason I'm into motorsports is I my dad used to race motocross and supercross back in the day. and. Uh, for Team Honda, and he didn't really want to race motorcycles, so we got into go-karts, started racing go-karts when I was young, um, had a lot of success for international and national um, uh, racing with, with the karting, and then I moved into cars officially in 2017, which is a bit late, cause, but um, just couldn't find the budget until then, so I'm actually currently racing in the W Series, which is an F3 championship over here in Europe. Um, last year, I raced USF 2000 and USF4 back in the States. So that's kind of where my engineering passion kind of stems from for motorsports. But um, regardless, I just, um, you know, it's, it is, it's the pinnacle of engineering is what motorsports is considered to be, uh, you know, next to obviously aerospace. So it's, it's kind of like right up there. And I think it's, um, it, you know, pushes you, it pushes everyone and it pushes the advancement of technology for, you know, on a global scale for, for all industries. Excellent. What's it like to work in that kind of environment for engineering? Uh, I mean, it's great. Everyone that I work with is, is really supportive and helpful. And, um, they're always, you know, willing to, to help me in any way they can give me, you know, mentor me and, um, just help me learn. Cause it's like, like my first time in a big engineering firm is having this, this job. So, um, yeah, everyone's been great and it's you get to make a lot of connections and kind of meet some of the, the, the best in the business, I guess you could say. So it's, uh, it's, it's, um, you know, it, in a lot of ways, it's like first class engineering. Of course, you're coming up on the six-month placement with the Renault F1 team. What are you most looking forward to during that? It's hard to say what exactly I would be looking looking forward to because there's going to be so much that I'm going to learn. So I guess what I'm looking forward to is just learning a lot um, because obviously it's, it's, it's some of the best engineers in the world and I'm going to be right there, you know, learning every single day from them. So I think that will be kind of like one of the best experiences that I could ask for as well as um, maybe the hope that whatever something that I design maybe will go on the car by the end of the season or, or for next year's car. So that would be probably what I'm looking forward to the most. So haven't been through this program for a bit. Uh, what's one bit of advice for any aspiring engineers or uh, prospective uh, applicants for the Infinity uh, Engineering Academy? If you're really passionate about motorsports, you know, just start going to going to events. If you don't know, because I know a lot of people are their biggest question is, well, how do you get into it, and how? And if you don't have those connections, you just kind of need to start going to, you know, going to the tracks, going to races, just putting yourself kind of in that environment, and you'll start making connections and learning a lot of more hands-on things that will really help you kind of tackle the Infinity Engineering Academy, um, you know, final problems, and and once you actually get the placement as well as um, just kind of trusting yourself and, and um, just kind of going through and, and going over your checklist, you know, everything that you're taught in school, like just making sure you you, you, you kind of go through that like um, vetted process that you've been kind of ingrained throughout, throughout, your, your, throughout your schooling because it does, it does really work to just kind of, um, you know, you start here and you, you progress by, by each step. But also I would say if, to really um, to win the final, you just need to be able to work well within a team too. So so don't always try and take over the situations and and try and you know kind of dominate it and show oh I'm the best I'm the smartest. But 
just um, contribute what you can to the team and know where your strengths lie and know where their strengths lie. But also you just, you know, you need to make sure you do a good job and do your best and make sure you stand out, but always be respectful that it is a team effort and it has to be, you know, it has to be cohesive. So in the end that um, your team in, in the finals, if you make it to the finals does well. Excellent. So how do you think the Infinity Engineering Academy uh, experiences will help you with your career progression uh, after this? Um, after this, uh, the Infinity Academy will have helped my career in, in so many ways. And I will have I have more connections now than I ever could have hoped to have. And I have kind of a direction and I have more of a taste of of what I thought I wanted to go into. And now I'll, I'll be able to make kind of a more direct choice on which path I should take now for my career. So I think it's definitely going to accelerate me in my in my future steps and, and kind of get me to where I want to be faster than I, than I'd hoped. And um, so it's, I think it's a, a, a great opportunity and just really thankful for, for all the stuff that I'm learning this year. So do you have any, uh, any highlights or funny moments you'd like to share from uh, your experience with the Academy? The guy, uh, the guys definitely get pretty into their Mario Kart. Let's just they uh, they get very competitive with that, <laughs> and uh, they find lots of like funny funny ways. Like because we'll all hang out as a as a group, the seven of us, and spend time together. And they uh, the the Mario Kart matches get pretty heated. So I guess that's probably something that's pr- that's pretty entertaining. Let's talk a little bit about the W series. Of course, this is the the Formula Three uh, series of racing uh, that you got to be. A, got to get some experience with what are the main transferable skills between racing and engineering for you so i would say the main transferable skills between racing and engineering are probably focus and determination and communication is, is huge obviously between a driver and an engineer or or in, in, in any role kind of you're in within any corporation or, or project team that you're in so I would say those are probably the three main things and just um, make sure you're always willing to kind of take that. If you want to be at the top, you have to always kind of take that next step together and have faith in your engineer as well as having faith in your driver. So I think those are probably the the main things is having passion, focus and, and communication skills are the transferable points. Of course, you are uh, taking on the workload between the W Series and the Infinity Engineering Academy uh, 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 relatively at the same time here, um, and there's requirements for both. How do you handle that balance between the two series that you're involved in? Honestly, it's just it's a lot of time management and just making sure I put I prioritize, and I definitely am I'm thankful to have good people around me and good support to help me make sure I'm kind of staying focus on what the important parts are and not get cut up in the small things and just um, make the best use out of my time because it is, I am not going to lie. It's, it's very, very difficult right now with, with my schedule and um, how packed it is and just trying to make sure that when I, I can, I make sure I take time to rest. Cause I think that's some of what I'm obviously like running low on is, is, is sleep and, and time to kind of recharge. So um, I've, I've gotten a lot of support from, uh, Infinity and Renault and, you know, just my roommates, everybody in the, in the academy that's helping me kind of balance everything and in any way they're t- just trying to help me in any way that I, that I can, that they can. So how have Infinity and uh, Renault F1 team supported you in development of your racing from the uh, F4 to the uh, W series? Uh, so Infinity and Renault have been super generous in allowing me to sometimes use the, uh, the re- obviously their resources that they have, whether it be, you know, connections into training programs, connections into, uh, SIM companies, uh, to do kind of prepare for, for events and for testing with the, with the W series. So when, um, and just kind of any, any advice they can offer mentoring, uh, just kind of what next steps to take, how I should prepare, stuff like that. So it's uh, been really great to have their support and uh, give me that a little bit extra edge that I normally maybe wouldn't have had on my own. How do you think programs like the uh, Infinity Engineering Academy and W Series will have an impact on aspiring women in this space like you? I mean, I think they can only be positive um, opportunities for for motorsports and for women because obviously the Infinity Engineering Academy allows women a chance to get in on the technical side and 
including me. I think there's been three other female winners in, in other regions. So it's definitely, you know, you definitely can get involved, whether you're a male or a female in this program. And uh, as far as the W series goes, uh, I think it's, you know, it's, it's overall, it's, it's a develop, it's a driver development program. And that's its ultimate goal is to kind of prepare women to, to take on, you know, the higher formula car, um, packages and and do well so for once it's kind of giving us an opportunity to not worry about the money and not worry about you know the the sea time and who has what but just giving us a chance to go run and and focus on just purely developing as a driver so i think both programs are you know pushing forward for women in in any way that they can and obviously giving us kind of more of an equal opportunity so i think it's really important to have programs like this um, for males and and females, obviously, I think it's it's good for everyone. Excellent. Um, so, what do you enjoy most about living in the UK? That's a that's a heck of a, a move from Colorado. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a bit different. I'm getting used to it more. Um, I definitely miss the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm a little paler than I normally am. Um, but you know, it's, it's starting to get, you know, it's starting to get warmer and it's the, it's really beautiful and green over here now because of obviously how much it rains. Um, it's, it's always a great to see, you know, a different culture and, um, living with other, the other guys and in my program, it's, it's nice to, you know, experience kind of a global community with, cause I live with them, the Mexican winner, the uh, German winner and the, uh, New Zealand is the, the other guy. So it's like, it's pretty, you know, it's a good, it's a cool mixture and you just kind of get to meet a lot of people and learn a lot about different, different cultures and different communities. So it's, it's, it's a good experience for sure. So what do you plan to do uh, after the engineering Academy? Well, after the engineering Academy, uh, obviously I, w- I would love to secure a job um, within infinity or at Renault. With one, um, currently I believe it's fifty percent of all academy engineers have a secured full time roles either in Affinity or Renault or or inside motorsports. So I'm working hard to kind of go the same route, and hopefully it works out in at the end of the year. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you've been having a great experience with this, and uh, it's got to be preparing you for some uh, bigger and better things for sure out of this. Yeah, any experience is good experience, right? So it's, uh, but this is an amazing opportunity and um, I am, I really am learning a lot and it's kind of, you know, it's put me out of my comfort zone and opened my eyes to new possibilities and I, I'm really enjoying being here and hopefully I get to stick around by the, at the end of the year. That's awesome. Well, Saber, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, if you guys out there uh, want to be a part of this great competition, please go over to academy.infinity.com and apply now. And uh, you could have an opportunity to have this awesome experience like Saber Cook has. Uh, and if you want to see Saber, actually, you're featured in the uh, class of 2019 uh, uh, video over on that website. If you scroll down there a little bit, uh, it looked like that was a fun time uh, uh, there too. And we get to see Saber in her racing suit. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, we have lots of entertaining filming days. So it's a if you apply to the academy, be prepared to be on camera a little bit. <laughs> get, practice your blue steel. Your blue steel. Nice Zoolander reference. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, everybody, please go check out uh, the Academy uh, sign-up page for more information and to sign up over there. Uh, thank you so much, Saber, for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. And until next time, everybody stay safe out there. Thanks for listening to Formula SAE FastCast. As always, we want to hear from you, so email us at Formula SAE at SAE.org. The show notes for this episode can be found at www.fsaeonline.com. Stay safe and we'll catch you next episode.